All right, so this, I don't know what to think about auto-tune, but I mean, so far I was running lean and check it out. It is correcting everything that you see blue is adding gas. Everything you see red is removing gas. So, I'm gonna drive around and see what, um, what happens and how the car runs. So far it shows here what changed. So you see the blue and the yellow. It's uh, blue means adding, red means removing and yellow up there and green means like how many times it passes in it. Um, and you can see here. So I'm driving around carefully, monitoring what's happening. I don't want to go too crazy, but once I have enough the fuel properly done, properly, I mean, suck. saying that I trust on this thing here. Uh, so if I trust on it, I will just uh, keep that and I can fix the rest of the table. So check it out. I got 10 look at that 11 not bad third gear So I'm just showing you here very quickly uh, how it works. I, it was a three minute run. Uh, I mean, with this screen here, I was running for a while and you can see the values being added or removed. Okay, I wanna tell you uh, what I think about this. So you see there are a bunch of areas that it added and remove, uh, removed gas, right? So you see here, so this part up here, I kinda trust because I remember seeing on my AFR uh, it was going to 9 and 10s and here supposed to be high 10s or 11s and so I knew that it had a little bit of more gas but uh, here it was running lean but then you got this inconsistency in here because if this here is 106 and you just add gas how did it drop this to 104 and how those here are 94 you know what I mean? So maybe I got to drive a little more around 3,000 and 4,000 RPM and see what it does. Um, this is what is saying that um, it should put in there. Um, I don't have my original table. So I either reset or I apply. Uh, I'll apply. And I'm not gonna save on ECU yet. Um, here, there are a few things we need to uh, consider. One is my throttle, right? Because if it goes here when I was going up and I let go of the throttle, it's gonna run rich. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it needs more gas because I, I had my foot out of the throttle. But when I go up and I'm running here, I need gas in here and this definitely is not gonna be enough. Um, or this is too much, you know, either or. So I think I got to drive more on this range in here between two and 4,500 RPM and see how it does. Um, well, when you're doing these things, you need to uh, keep in mind that, I mean, professional tuners, they spend years doing this kind of stuff. I'm definitely not a tuner, you know, as you guys know, I never claim to be a tuner. Um, 
I have friends there and I can uh, rely on them to send logs and they're going to help me out and all that stuff. Autotune on the other hand is going to do the calculation behind the scenes so it knows what is the AFR at that point in certain um, situation, right? And what you expect and then it drops the fuel. But there's much more to think about like what was the fuel, um, the, the intake air pressure. Right, because that counts too. If you're doing a pool, it's gonna get hot, 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 and you need less gas. So that would make sense having less gas up there because every time you're doing a big pool, you're gonna get uh, your intake hotter, the air. Then you have the coolant temperature, which also interferes. The car is warm or is warming up or is hot. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, do this now, and we're gonna go for a ride. And I'm gonna get a normal log now. Or uh, let's do better. I'm gonna do another auto tune, and it's gonna be maybe a longer one. And on this auto tune, I'm just gonna try to keep between two and four. Um, yeah, and let's see what it does. This video is to show you what auto tune does. So I went for another run. Uh, it is a longer run we can see the values changing again and one thing that concerns me is the you get for example in 3500 rpm and there is a split between uh, the left side being added gas and the right side uh, being removing gas um, that's what's going to happen in a minute and um, yeah i just i just don't know how the left side is adding gas to a 103 and then to the right side is removing gas to 91 so it should it should increase gas going to the right side when we increase rpm so um let's see how the rest of the run goes all right so it's uh the end of this run i don't know if i can tell how long i run for but uh yeah it's been a while and uh i got a lot of stuff so Let's go back in there. I'm gonna show you my screen when I just park at home and we're gonna see the progress. But um, yeah, I can see a lot of cells changed and a lot in that range. So it's gonna be a good, a good thing. All right, so I hope I can use all that footage. Um, and here it says that we have 4,000 on this bottom side here 4373 records uh, filtered out I think 66 and yeah total table so now what we need to do is we need to grab this table and actually uh, see what we can do right uh, I'm gonna do a few things for example this is 109 I'm not gonna lower this to accommodate with this 105. I'm gonna accommodate here 110, 11, and then 12, and then 13, and then 14, and then it goes smooth. Fixing this, I'm gonna fix the whole bunch of tables. Uh, but basically, this is what happens. It gets this spark table, this um, AFR table here, okay? And you see there, when I'm at 3000 RPM and 140 kPa, it expects to be 11.7. So it passes there multiple times, right? Which is, oh, 140, it was here, I guess, or here. And then it passes there multiple times and then keeps seeing how much gas I have. And then it keeps changing. The one thing I don't know is, does this account for throttle position? So I'm not quite sure if having your foot down or not when it passes in there is going to count also. So if it counts, it's not too good. But on the other hand, uh, I guess your RPM is still high, so it's going to count for it. Uh, but it shouldn't because you're going to be richer because once you take your foot off, you, you shut the throttle body. It's shut, right? The throttle thing. And you don't have enough air, it's gonna say that's rich, it's gonna make it lean, but then when you are full on throttle, that's gonna be uh, poor. You're gonna run lean. So, uh, this is how it works. So what I'm gonna do is fix this table, 
and I'm gonna show you probably I don't know how long it's gonna be this video if it's too long we're gonna have a part two uh, on the part two we are gonna take logs and the logs are gonna tell us what um, our fueling and temperature and all that stuff is and all right guys that was fun um, I mean it's fun trying to think how they make this and um, is definitely not perfect I think uh, what I think about this, uh, I don't know yet. I mean, you you have of course people that uh, know how to tune. They're gonna hate this. Uh, being a developer, I think this is amazing because I know there's a lot of code behind the scenes to make this work. But I also think that you need to be very careful because the tables and the changes they make. Um, I don't think they account for everything that needs to be accounted for and you might end up with a weird table that can give you a lean spot somewhere so I did not have this problem I end up changing by hand and I mean the only lean spot I have is the 20 and 40 kPa but um, but basically what I think is um, yeah it's worth to use you use at your own risk of course you but once you're done you need to analyze see what was done and fix it there's always a fixing it there, I don't think there is an auto tune just do the auto tune and, and your car is going to be tuned at all um, but I mean it's fun it's fun to use um, would I use it again yeah maybe maybe I would put it again just to give me a, a starting point and tell me okay uh, the 14 kPa on this area here not being on the car like at two three thousand rpm max what is the gas that is expecting so I would get that gas at a little more just to be safe and then from there I maybe would start my own table and then work with the logs instead of the the auto tune on the next video we are going to grab some logs and first we're going to analyze the logs and see um, how this tune here that we got from the auto tune VE analyzer and all that stuff right um, how it worked what gave us and how is the car running um, I won't be surprised if it's running okay because I changed the table I, I smoothed it out so the values are consistent but I won't be surprised if one or two spots are running a little rich because I uh, I changed the table on the side of caution and I added more I trust more adding than removing so uh, and don't get it wrong uh, too much gas is also bad so I have a uh, comment in one of my videos it's a uh, guy suggesting um, to uh, uh, do the tuning in a certain way so we're gonna get a video of that too and let's see how it goes I think it's a very very good suggestion I'm not gonna say here why it is yet uh, but yeah we are gonna get logs we're gonna analyze the logs and then we're gonna go with the video um, getting his suggestion and yeah and should be cool all right guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button uh, check out my store thank you guys for getting all this merch uh, now for Christmas uh, it's been amazing it's been so busy and stuff for me that I, I don't have even time to go shopping for my own family but um, appreciate it again and I'll see you on the next video